Hello everyone, my name is Hitashi Garg and in this video I'm going to show you how Adobe Animate CC 2014 release allows you to import a sprite sheet and create an animation in just few seconds. So let's see how it works. So first of all we go ahead and create a new project. As you are already familiar with the uh, UI, on the left we have all the CSS properties, on the right we have element and the library panel and at the bottom we have the timeline. And in the center, we have this stage where we will be placing all our content or you call it an object. So let's see how you can import a sprite sheet. So I'm going to use the sprite sheet, different states of a bird. And we go to symbol section. And now you can see that here we have a new option called import sprite sheet. So you click on import sprite sheet and you select the sprite sheet. Here Adobe Edge Animates give you a new window that shows you how the sprite sheet gonna look like. You have an option like uh, number of rows and number of columns. So which you need to tell how many rows and how many columns you have in the sprite sheet. So here we have five columns and five rows. So I'll just change the values to five. So now you can see that it's create a rectangle on every single state of this bird. Similarly, you can go to the trimming option and I remove all the padding here. So make it zero and I don't want any margins. So I'll just go ahead and make these zeros. And again, uh, I also don't want anything on the top and bottom margin. So now this is my sprite sheet and you can also preview it, how it looks. So now you can see that our animation is nearly done. So what I need to do, I just need to hit import and here we have the animation. So if I go ahead and drag this animation, place it here and preview it in the browser, you can see that our animation is working. The only problem is the animation is not getting played in the loop. So we need to make it play in the loop. So let's see how it works. So what we need to do, we need to go to the symbol and we need to edit the symbol. So here, this is the symbol and at this end of this animation, I want this should start back to zero. So how we do that, we go to the actions click on this trigger and we go to playback play and we double click on it simply we need to change the value to zero because we want this should start back to zero and we are done with it so now the animation will play in the loop so we go back to the main stage and let's preview it in the browser now you can see that our animation is continuing playing so Using Adobe Edge Animate CC and Sprite Sheet, you can create amazing symbols and you can use these symbols wherever you want. So you can also export the symbol as a module and you can use it whenever you want. I can export the symbol. Let's save it on my desktop here and I can use the symbol in any of my composition. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.